Hey all, my name is Paul Borowski and I am the owner of Quality Business Plan as well as the author of The Beginner's Guide to Understanding Financial Statements and Financial Ratios which is published on Amazon.com as well as the author of various company reports which I publish on my website. In this video, what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and give you all a sneak peek at my Amazon.com 2021 financial analysis and specifically what I've done is I've got two reports on it. One is a beginner's guide to Amazon.com analyzing their financial statements for the last five years. And the second one is my company report specifically for Amazon.com where I go through and I provide some analysis into the various aspects of the organization's financial statements. So for this video, the whole purpose of it is, is to give you a sneak peek into both of those guides, as well as to show you all the financial model that I use to summarize the income statement and the balance sheet, as well as calculate the financial ratios for Amazon.com um, for the last five years. All right, so with that said, let's go ahead and zip through this little uh, presentation I have concocted for you. So this first document right here is a snippet of my Amazon.com um, this is the beginner's guide. And so the way that works out is I've got it. I've introduced the income statement, what it is, and what's it good for and all that good stuff like that. Next, what I, do, I have done is I've input Amazon's.com last five years of financial statements, uh, specifically the income statement. What I've done is I've summarized that information in the last five years into my financial model and I present the results. Um, from there, what I do is I break down each line item. So for example, for the income statement, we have revenues. I'll break down the revenues. I'll give you some tips and tricks on how to analyze the revenues and what it means if it goes up, down, or stays the same. I explain it in other words. I give you some analysis tips. And then I give you, again, the revenues for Amazon.com for the last five years. And I also compare it to a different metrics. Uh, sometimes it's revenue growth. Other times it could be um, cost of goods. Whatever is whatever's pertinent or germane, I'm going to go ahead and compare it to. So this document right here is the foundation for, this is my beginner's guide to analyzing Amazon.com. What this does not have, it does not have the analysis tips and tricks that I personally go ahead and go through and provide in my, in my company report. This document right here is a snippet of my Amazon.com 2021 financial report. It's the same foundation as a beginner's guide, and both guys will have, you know, in this example right here, I'm, I'm taking a look at the liquidity ratios. I'll sum up what the liquidity ratios are. I'll give you the various formulas for the liquidity ratios, current ratio, cash ratio, quick ratio, net working capital. Then what I'll do is I'll give you a summary of the liquidity ratios. So here's a nice quick guide for the liquidity ratios. And from there, I'm going to then break out into the different ratios and the explanation of what the ratio is. Again, give you the formula for the ratio. In other words, so I'll explain what the ratio means. I'll give you some analysis tips for the ratio, and then I'll go ahead and give you the calculations for the current ratio. So it's current assets divided by current liabilities. Here are the numbers that I've used, and here are the current ratios. And then finally, in my company report, the Amazon.com company report, I do provide one, you know, two to three sentences analysis for each one of the line items and in income statement, the balance sheet and the current ratio for the most part. There, there's some like, you know, for the total assets, I don't get into, you know, an analysis of that, but the components of the total assets I do get into. And then finally, what I do is I provide a grade, an analysis grade based on if the company is doing good, bad or indifferent, I'll, I'll go ahead and provide a grade for that. So that's how my beginner's guide is set up and the um, be, the company report is set up and here is the financial model that I use for Amazon.com the analysis for the organization. What I'll do is I'll go and I'll do some research and I'll find Amazon.com's last five year company report specifically for their income statement. Then I'll summarize that information and put it into my financial model. Once it's in, once it's in there, then I've got some graphs that pop up and I've got each line item is broken out and I compare the each line item with the various metrics, you know, for example, revenues, cost of growth, and then for cost of goods sold, I'll compare with the revenues, and then I will also use as a percentage to revenues. So a lot of work goes into the analysis, and I do that for the income statement, 
I also do the same thing for the balance sheet. I'll go ahead and uh, summarize the balance sheet for Amazon. Then I'll break out each one of the line items. I've got some graphs right here. The graphs are not included, um, but I do provide you know some insights in and I use those for my analysis. And then finally, same thing with the ratios. I'll go ahead and I break out the information for the ratios, liquidity ratios, asset um, utilization ratios, and then underneath, I've got your current ratios, and then I'll go into the formulas for it and the calculations and the graphs. So this template right here is not included in the financial model or the beginner's guide. However, I do use that information. I do use excerpts in the, in the actual document for the company report as well as beginner's guide. All right, so hopefully this insight is helpful and gives you an idea as to what to expect if you go ahead and purchase my Amazon.com, either the beginner's guide or the financial analysis. If you do want some more information, then all you have to do is visit my website at qualitybusinessplan.com forward slash public company financial reports. And then once you're on that website, all you do is you just scroll down, look for Amazon.com and just um, click on the button and it'll take you right to both reports. All right, so hopefully this information was helpful. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up on YouTube. And as always, have a great day. Thank you.